if you're going to make many symbols for your program then uh, you might want to know or need to know a little bit more about the symbol editor and how to use that. We find the symbol editor by going into the symbol menu and uh, then you can click create new menu, new symbol or you can simply right click somewhere and say that you want to create a new, new symbol. This takes you into the symbol editor and that's where we were just before. When you start with a new symbol without anything in it then uh, the window will look like this and uh, this is just a short explanation of what you can see in here. What you can see is um, this star here. The star is the same star as you have here. This is the reference point for a symbol. All symbols have a star and this reference point or the star, the reference point is um, what is actually aligned or spaced when you use the symbol commands in a project. This star, this reference point must be on the grid uh, and uh, the dots that I have here is the grid. The, the grid is for every two and a half millimeters. So uh, this is uh, somewhere and you can see just when I had it earlier, you can see two and a half millimeters and then it jumps to the next position. So the star must be on the grid. That's rule number one. Um, then I have together with all symbols I have some uh, different texts and the texts are the text that I can see here. I just click the text command. I have the symbol. Oh, it's easier to see them here actually. All the, the text that I have here beginning with an S are the basic texts for all symbols. I have the name for the symbol. This is uh, the data field that contains the name as in B1 or K1 or P1 or whatever, the name of the symbol of the component. Then I have the type and I have an article number and I have a function text. Those texts are basic text that comes with all symbols. Also have a reference text which is at the bottom here. Uh, that was really pretty difficult for me. The reference text here, uh, a reference text uh, or a data field that has uh, references in it. When I have two symbols with the same name in the project, I can make a cross-reference between those two symbols. So those five texts are here. They have been placed already in the project or uh, in in the symbol generator here, and uh, then I can move them to the right position. The easiest way to move them to the right position is to use the symbol generator as I used earlier. And then uh, if I um, make a small symbol as the one you just saw earlier, uh, 20 by, by 10, then I have um, the text for the symbol. They are all placed here, which is according to the rules in the standards. So instead of dragging all the symbols to its right positions, I can use this symbol generator and then all the text will be moved to the right position. Um, so that's simply to make it easier for you, but that's one thing. Um, when I have uh, all the symbols here in the symbol uh, 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 editor here. I also have uh, all connections. Connection points are the the points that I um, uh, to which I'll uh, co uh, add a line so that I can have connections between components in the diagram. Connection points um, when are uh, also on the grid when I place them. That means, as you can see, they are also spaced with a minimum of two and a half millimeters, but according to the rules, they are spaced with five millimeters. That's two modules between them. So that's my default distance between um, my, my my connection points. Also on the grid and two uh, of two and a half uh, by two. That's five millimeters between them. When you look at the um, existing symbols that uh, in the program, then all connection um, names are invisible because what I have here is a numerical value which means that this is a sequence that the database will use to 
replace the real connection names because the component might not have connection uh, or terminals called 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. They might be called A, B, C, D or uh, 11, 12, 21, 22, whatever, but the sequence for naming them is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's the reason why if you open some of the existing uh, symbols that all connection names are numerical starting from 1 and, and, and going upwards. Um, normally my uh, connection names are invisible and they are that because in that way it's very easy to see when you place a symbol in the project that you didn't select any component data. So that's the reason for that. And I'll do the same here by simply uh, selecting this object data up here and then saying that I want not the name to be uh, visible. So click here and then they are invisible. That means uh, name, uh, connection name is on the grid and the, the reference point on the grid. Then what I can also do in here is that I can add, as you saw in one of the, the first videos, I can add some auxiliary symbols. I can either select them from the pick menu here. Pick menus, I can make my own pick menus, but pick menus, simply uh, create new menus if you want to do that. But the pick menus here, they uh, contain the small elements that I use to combine to make my own symbols. That might be connection points for top and bottom, they might be all those auxiliary symbols here, or they might be the most common symbols that uh, I, I use when I make symbols. But um, never mind, you can make exactly your own pick menus in here. But what I can do when I select a, uh, a, a symbol from up here is that if I select one, I can select it and then I can use my normal drawing routines. I'll just take it over here. That is, for instance, spacebar will rotate and uh, rotate by 90 degrees. I can uh, go in, if I place it here, uh, use the area command and then I can move it for instance and, and rotate or I can, I'll just use the area command again I can go in here and uh, select the uh, the scale command that could be for instance that I want this arrow to be only half size and then I can scale it and I could move it and I could put it in here that's the basic uh, uh, commands that I have in, um, in this um, uh, a symbol editor here. Um, so basic working commands when you make your symbols. Then when you've made your symbols and the graphical design of them then you can go out and say that you want to save the symbols. If I go to the symbol command again I have this small uh, symbol setting wheel here and in this one I can go in and type the title and uh, this one could be a new symbol again and in here I can uh, select uh, the symbol types I have a lot of different symbol types some of them I will show you uh, in, in this series of videos but uh, other, other uh, symbol uh, kinds you can simply look them up in the manual because the manual will take you through each symbol type and, and tell you what's special about that one so um, that's, that's not in this video here but most symbols will simply be normal symbols then I can decide, I'll just drag it over here, that when I ha make a symbol I can select whether I want to select the symbol by simply when I'm in a project by simply clicking somewhere on the symbol, that's the selection called whole symbol, or maybe for some special symbols I might go in and say I will only select the symbol if I click directly on the reference point. In normal diagram symbols you'll not use that one, then you'll use the whole symbol, but it might be a mechanical symbol that you desi uh, design and then you want to only select it if you click directly on the reference point. So that's uh, a special thing that you can do. Uh, and then you have some uh, advanced settings here. Just I'll just say that normally electrical mechanical symbols, all the normal uh, 
components or the normal symbols are electrical and mechanical and then I have this uh, reference option here that I can select symbols with reference active that means that if I, I place two symbols with the same name the reference that is placed here the reference text will automatically become active and have a reference between those two symbols if I don't make it part of the symbol design then I can select it in in the project so those here are the basics uh, that I have when I work in this uh, this symbol editor. I might just uh, add one more comment to this. That means that I have all my drawing routines. They are active in the window here because I didn't really show them here. That means that if I have a text, for instance, I can go in and align it with other texts. I can go in and select text properties. If I select a text property for, for a text, I can either copy this property or I can transfer a property to a, a, a selected item here. Also means that if I have all those uh, connection points here, they could also be aligned. I can rotate them. I can do all the normal drawing routines that I have in my project too. So. Um, I hope this uh, would give you a, just a, a, a bit of knowledge about what you can do in this uh, symbol editor when you make your symbols. Mm -hmm. uh, a, a few more things that you should know when, 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 you, when you work with symbols, but they will be in the videos um, where, where they're relevant instead of just uh, putting everything in this video here. But this is the basics of what you can do in, um, in the symbol editor.